Hello again, my name is Kyle Paulson. Um, before you watch this video or any of the videos that I post, I ask again that you watch the introduction video. Um, so right now what I'm showing is uh, winch modifications. Winch modifications came about um, because the super skinny stakes, well, let me back up. The ground that I fly in is very loose. It's very loose, it's very soft, and it's really easy for the winch to shift around. And so when I realized how important it was to mount the winch properly and to eliminate any type of shifting um, and how imperative it is for winch alignment, it's, it's not possible to align your winch properly if your winch is not mounted um, very securely with zero, almost zero movement and shifting under big tension. So what I had to do was make some modifications to my winch. I have yet to see any winches that come with these modifications. Um, the Obers come with really skinny stakes. I think it's because they fly on really hard dirt, very firm dirt, uh, all the time over in Europe. Although I have seen soft conditions over there. But if you're in really firm conditions, you don't need to make these modifications. But I recommend that you do because you never know when you're going to show up and fly in soft conditions. And so so I'll show you what I've done, um, different techniques. Um, these are just the most simple ones that, that I've come up with and that work great. So here is the first thing I do just to the winch is a typical Ober winch here, which so many of us have. Sorry, I should have taken this off first, just to show you. But all this is, is half inch, uh, is just channel. I believe it's half inch or one inch uh, iron, wrought iron channel. That's it. And then just put on with a couple nuts and bolts. Two half inch holes. The reason for two holes is very important because I have a lot of different ways to mount my winches and having two holes means you don't need to use the chains. I will show what the chains are used for, but if you have two holes, I can put one nail in there and one nail in there on both legs. And in a lot of conditions, that's going to work fine. If it's super soft, this is not enough. And so what I'll do if it's super soft is I will add a chain. And then the chain comes back behind the winch and I can put two or three nails, boom, crisscross like this, two or three nails in that chain and this winch is not going anywhere under big tension. Obviously we don't need to overdo it, but you do need to have enough. So again, sometimes um, just one nail is going to be fine. I have two for two nails. If I need to whip out the chain in extreme conditions, I've got it. But here's the cool thing. Look at that. That is a 20 inch long, 7 16 stainless steel, custom made nail that cost me $30 each. And it was well worth the investment. I've got a really large head to hit because I'm not great with a hammer and so now I never miss. It also makes it super easy to pull the nail out with a claw hammer or with anything out of the ground. And the 7 16 does not flex at all. And because it's so long, um, it, uh, it, it goes deep enough into the ground so I have a really good secure mount. And with this, I only need one nail, one hole, in almost all conditions. But again, if I needed to, I could still add the simple chain links, just four links, and add a couple more nails if I needed to. So those are my simple winch modifications. Hope that works for you. I, I, I'm telling you, if you you should do this to your winch. Um, it will help you, it, it will get you out of a bind, and, and you will not be able to align a winch properly unless it's mounted securely in the ground, and these are just some of the ways that will definitely work for you. Hope that helps, thank you.